In the summer of 2016, a California high school team took the basketball world by storm. More specifically, three brothers that played on that team. You probably already know who I'm talking about because two out of the three brothers are now playing on NBA teams. Well, what about the last brother? The one that's not in the league. Where is he? Today, I'll show you what happened to the last ball brother, Leangelo Ball and how his many mistakes in the spotlight costed him his dream job of playing in the NBA. I'm gonna make this clear right now. I am in no way saying that Leangelo Ball is a terrible basketball player, nor a hard worker. As much as we would like to think that their reality show covers every aspect of their lives, it doesn't. We don't really know what may be going on in his life and we probably never will. How could someone that has the fame, the name, the financial and parental support anyone would ask for not make it to the NBA? Let's get it started by taking a look at his time in high school. Chino Hills was by no means a good team, but that's what made the case of the Ball Brothers' success even better. Carrying a random public high school team through a season with great success turns many heads in your direction. They were getting national spotlight attention. Everything seemed to be going right for Leangelo Ball and the rest of the Ball family. Ball's life was recording every game in a sold out crowd. Their reality TV show was picking up. LeVar Ball was even getting in on the action by talking with different sports analysts about how their kids were going to be the greatest basketball players alive. Hell, you even had other basketball players trying to mimic what the Ball family had, with minimal success obviously. What could possibly go wrong you may think, and to that I say, what goes up, must come down. Fast forward a couple of years and Lonzo, the oldest Ball brother, had a one and done year with the UCLA Bruins, his hometown team. His campaign was special and his March Madness run solidified him as a top pick in the upcoming draft. Leangelo planned on attending the same school for basketball and it was clear that with his fame alone, he could get into whatever college or university team he wanted to. But the fame doesn't translate into minutes on a serious team. At UCLA, Leangelo barely got any touches in playing time at the start of the season. His next move is what damaged his chances of making it to the NBA the most in my opinion. He was arrested for shoplifting in China, yes China, and yes again, shoplifting. This was a baffling move that I don't even think he understood what he was doing at the time. I mean he clearly had the money, why in the world would he shoplift? What I think happened was that his head wasn't in the right place at the time. He was with two other teammates and they were all temporarily banned from playing in the NCAA until further notice. LeVar Ball was obviously disappointed and frustrated with the decision making by the program and decided to move Leangelo and his younger brother LaMelo Ball out of school and into the Lithuanian league. Yeah I know, sounds crazy right? Let me know what your thoughts are about the strange move in the comments below. This was another move that I think would come back to bite Leangelo. Sending Leangelo and Lamelo to play in the Lithuanian league might have been one of the biggest mistakes that LeVar Ball made. Up to that point, some may argue that his three sons success was due in part because of LeVar's ability to advertise his kids. He was also an amazing father figure for his three boys, and I don't want to take any credit away from that. Personally, I think the whole stint Leangelo had in Lithuania didn't make him a better overall basketball player. On their team, Leangelo and Lamelo were basically playing basketball for entertainment in order to advertise their Facebook TV series, Ball in the Family. On a side note, I do recommend watching the show, it isn't that bad. It's extremely entertaining, comical, and highlights the journey that the Ball family went through to be where they are now. If you have been staying up to date with it, you'd see how much chaos and disorder happened in the Lithuania league. For starters, Leangelo and Lamelo obviously didn't understand Lithuanian, and the head coach of their team obviously didn't understand English. So I'm sure you can understand what problems that would bring up, but I digress. Here's a look at the two Ball brothers stats during their time in Lithuania. To Leangelo Ball's credit, I'd say he exceeded a lot of people's expectations while playing in Lithuania. Nevertheless, 
His overall growth as a basketball player and an athlete was very minimal as there seemed to be no improvement. As for his brother Lamelo, that was playing with him, the best way to describe it was that it was simply a waste of time. Like I stated before, the whole situation was a mess. Lavar understood that and he pulled his boys out of the Lithuanian league. That chapter was now closed. After going undrafted in the NBA draft, Leangelo Ball had a real wake up call. He had no other choice but to try again in next year's draft. In response to not getting picked up by any teams, his dad Lavar invited Leangelo to play in the JBA league with his brother Lamelo. For those who are unfamiliar with the JBA league, don't worry, you're not missing out. Pretty much to put it as bluntly as possible, LeVar Ball created a league so that his sons could say that they played professional basketball, but that's obviously not how he presented it to the public and instead opted to say that it allowed high school athletes to play professional basketball, if you can even call it that, and earn a steady payment instead of competing in the NCAA program which offered no money at all. The JBA league initially began with a lot of promise with some of the top high school athletes joining the league and fans around the world taking interest in this revolutionary idea. And of course, it being backed up by LeVar Ball only made it better. According to some sources, the G League program even made the decision to increase the salary for G League basketball players based on the rise in popularity of the JBA League. That's some pretty big stuff for a crazy old man and his three kids. If you only looked at Leangelo Ball's stats that he put up in the JBA League, you would have thought he was the next coming of Michael Jordan. What am I saying? Jordan didn't have anything on JBA playoff Leangelo Ball. I mean just look at this. Man was averaging 47 points. Although Leangelo fans went crazy over his stat line, we all knew that he was getting more touches because well, his father was the owner of the league. His stats overall didn't represent the skill of Leangelo Ball and rather represented the overall competition level of the JBA league. Sadly, I couldn't find Leangelo's stats during the JBA years because the entire JBA league fell apart in one year and now has officially been removed forever. This seemed to be another one of LeVar Ball's get drafted into the NBA quick schemes, but it didn't work. To put it in simple terms, the situation with Leangelo and Lamelo playing in the JBA league was exactly like putting some high school varsity athletes against the freshman squad. Leangelo Ball would try his luck again in the 2018 NBA draft, but it had become clear by now that not a single one of the 30 NBA teams wanted him. But there was still a glimmer of hope. It may have been only a glimmer, but it was still something Leangelo could work towards. Nothing much ended up happening with Leangelo on the OKC Blue. The team signed Leangelo Ball on March 8, 2020. He was scheduled to play for the team for the remainder of the 2019-2020 season. He started in the G League as a practice player, which isn't even an official player for the OKC Blue team. Although he could have been working super hard to get a roster spot, as luck would have it, it was completely out of his control. Unfortunately for Leangelo, that season wouldn't be a normal one, with the entire NBA and G League cancelling all their games due to the pandemic. Leangelo never got the right opportunity to showcase his abilities on the basketball court to the general public. He was waived by the team. Fans all around the world went crazy when news headlines about Leangelo Ball signing with the Pistons became a reality. Again, LeVar Ball's words became fact. All three of his sons were gonna play in the NBA. With Lonzo being on the Pelicans, LaMelo exhibiting talents overseas and looking like a top pick, and now finally, Leangelo, the final ball brother, on an NBA roster. But wait, that's not the exact deal that was given to Leangelo. People were confused about the deal between the Pistons and Leangelo Ball's camp. Long story short, he signed an Exhibit 10 contract. This contract is a non-guaranteed deal that permits Leangelo to play for the Pistons G League affiliate roster if he was to be waived by the Detroit Pistons. Everyone was excited to see Leangelo finally suit up in an NBA game for the first time. But here's where I feel for Leangelo a bit. When an NBA team signs a player, the team should be willing to give up a few minutes for the newly signed athlete. In Leangelo's case, all he wanted was a chance to prove his skills and game on the court. But the Pistons didn't think that was the case. 
Liangelo ended up getting sent down to the G League team without running a single minute in the NBA preseason. As of right now, Liangelo is playing for the Grand Rapid Drive, the G League version of the Detroit Pistons. All G League players are expected to participate in the G League bubble. So far, the bubble has started this month, with the first game being scheduled on the 10th. Liangelo Ball has yet to put up any numbers on the stat sheet, but I do believe he's a better basketball player than people realize. Similar with Lonzo Ball, Liangelo seems to lack confidence during games when playing at a high level. Liangelo also shows some reliability issues like his younger brother Lamelo, as they both yet are not accustomed to offensive and defensive schemes. Even though Liangelo Ball is still far from earning a spot on the NBA roster, I believe that he can be a quality catch and shoot guard slash forward in the NBA, but only time will tell. Cheers.